Hello everyone and welcome again to the New Orleans Public Library's virtual story time. Uh, my name is Jeff and I'm here at the Children's Resource Center and we're very glad that you could join us today. Uh, today our story is going to be the three billy goats gruff. You can see them here on our felt board. Uh, but before we do that, uh, the first thing we need to do is our welcome song. And our welcome song today is Hello Friends. The hand signals are very simple. They are hello, friends. It is time to say hello. Do y'all want to sing the song with me? All right, so everybody get loose, shake out your arms, settle in, and let's do it. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. All right, everyone. Hello, friends. Uh, and again, welcome. And uh, we are going to get to our goats in just a moment. Um, but before we get to our story, I want to talk just for a second about early literacy, just for a second. Um, if you go to the uh, library's website, it's at dolalibrary.org. Uh, you can click there at the tab that says Use Your Library at the top uh, and then follow the Early Literacy page and you'll find a whole wealth of information there about uh, the practices that we use in our programming and also the uh, practices that we'd like to encourage uh, parents to use with their children in order to develop early readers, uh, reading skills. Um, also you'll find there uh, these calendars that we make every month that uh, highlight some of the practices and actually give you daily tips for how to use them. Um, in order to uh, demonstrate a little bit of this, uh, we're going to do a little activity on our felt board that incorporates most of these practices. Uh, they are, you can see here, they are writing, playing, talking, singing, reading, and we've added counting there too, um, although it's often associated with uh, writing as well. I'll show you how this works. We're going to do a little exercise on our felt board. It's called uh, Mom and Me Gonna Go Down to the Store and Pick Up Some Fruit for Our Fruit Bowl. Mom and Me Gonna Go Down to the Store and we're gonna pick up for our fruit bowl five cherries. One, two, Three, four, five. But we need more in our fruit bowl. So mom and me are going to go down to the store and we're going to pick up four oranges. One, two, Three, four. Mom and me are going to go down to the store and we're going to get more for our fruit bowl. We're going to get three purple plums. One, two, three. We're not done yet. Mom and me are going to go down to the store and we're going to get for our fruit bowl two green pears. One, two. Mom and me want one more thing for our fruit bowl. So we're going to go down to the store and we're going to get one red apple. Look at there. Mommy went down to the store and we filled that fruit bowl up. And this is a great way to incorporate many of the, uh, of the, of the literacy practices. Um, they, we do some playing with the, uh, with the felt pieces. We do some counting of them. Uh, we use our hands and uh, that really, uh, and, and tell a story together. So that helps us develop our narrative skills as well. Um, the one thing that we did not do in this exercise was sing. However, there is a song that we can sing that goes with the fruit that we have on the
the felt board. So let's do this one together. Are you ready? It goes. I picked the cherry. I picked the cherry that was growing in the sun. Then I washed it. Then I ate it. Then I picked another one. But I wasn't done with those fruits, so I picked an orange. I picked an orange that was growing in the sun. Then I washed it. Then I ate it. Then I picked another one. Those plums look pretty good. And what I did was I picked a plum. I picked a plum that was growing in the sun. Then I washed it. Then I ate it. Then I picked another one. I picked a pear. Picked a pear that was growing in the sun. And then I washed it. Then I ate it. Then I picked another one. There's still fruit left on the tree. So. I picked an apple, picked an apple that was growing in the sun. And I washed it and I ate it. I guess they're done. All right, y'all. We are going to show you our story of the three billy goats gruff. And we'll be right back here. So enjoy. Once upon a time, there were three billy goats. They lived in a valley, and the name of all three billy goats was Gruff. There was very little grass in the valley, and the billy goats were hungry. They wanted to go up the hillside to a fine meadow full of grass and daisies where they could eat and eat and eat and get fat. But on the way up there was a bridge over a rushing river, and under the bridge lived a troll who was as mean as he was ugly. First, the youngest billy goat gruff decided to cross the bridge. Trip, trap, trip, trap, went the bridge. Who's that tripping over my bridge? roared the troll. Oh, it's only I, the teeniest billy goat gruff, said the billy goat in his very small voice. And I'm going to the meadow to make myself fat. No, you're not, said the troll, for I'm coming to gobble you up. Oh, please don't take me. I'm too little that I am, said the billy goat. Wait till the second billy goat gruff comes. He's much bigger. Well then, be off with you, said the troll. A little later, the second billy goat gruff came to cross the bridge. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, went the bridge. Who's that tripping over my bridge? roared the troll. Oh, it's only I, the second billy goat gruff. And I'm going up to the meadow to make myself fat, said the billy goat. And his voice was not so small. No, you're not, said the troll, for I'm coming to gobble you up. Oh, please don't take me. Wait a little till the third billy goat gruff comes. He's much bigger. Well, very well. Be off with you, said the troll. Then the third billy goat gruff came. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, 
went the bridge. The third billy goat gruff was so heavy that the bridge creaked and groaned under him. Who's that tramping over my bridge? roared the troll. It is I, the big billy goat gruff, said the billy goat. And his voice was as loud as the troll's. Well, now I'm coming to gobble you up, roared the troll. Well, come along, said the billy goat gruff. I've got two horns and four hard hooves. See what you can do. So, up climbed that mean, ugly troll, and the big billy goat gruff butted him with his horns, and he trampled him with his hard hooves. And he tossed him over the bridge into the rushing river. Then, the big billy goat gruff went up the hillside to join his brothers. In the meadow, the three billy goats gruff got so fat that they could hardly walk home again. They're probably there yet. So, snip, snap, snout, this tale is told out. Hello again, everyone. Did we enjoy that? I think you did. All right, well, just wanted to talk for a second about some of the resources we have at the library. Uh, today's story, of course, uh, was the Three Billy Goats Gruff. It's uh, public domain, so there are so many different versions of it, picture books, um, audio books, uh, streaming online. Um, I've got one, of our, uh, one copy of it here. Um, one of the themes in the Billy Goats Gruff uh, that really stands out to me, at least, is uh, bullying and standing up for yourself. Um, there are a couple of picture books I wanted to highlight about that. This is uh, Anna Dudney's uh, Llama Llama and the Bully Goat, which also has a goat in it, so that's kind of with our theme as well. Um, this is a brand new book um, by Maya Myers it's called Not Little. And again, it's about a little girl who learns how to uh, stand up for herself and also how to stand up for her friend. Um, and this, finally, is a book by uh, Carmen Didi, and it's called The Rooster Who Would Not Be Quiet, which is also a good example of standing up for yourself uh, if you feel like you're being bullied. Um, and yeah, so I hope everyone enjoyed our story time today. We're very glad that you can make it. Um, the last thing we want to do today is we want to send you away with one more uh, little song and rhyme, and this is uh, about goats. So uh, bear with me, and we'll see if we can get it through together. So we're going to have our gate. Can you make a gate with your arms? Can you open your gate? Very good. Can you run your little animals out of the gate? Can you run your little animals up the tree? And can you carry them down home? I think you can do all of those things. So follow me. Are you ready? The gate swings open and the goats run free. They climbed all up the apple tree. They all fell asleep from the apples that they ate. So let's carry them home and shut the gate. All right, everyone, thank you for joining us, and we'll see you again at the next virtual story time.